Watson really likes me. Hello friends, my name is Internet, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes The Awakened, right where we left off in New Orleans. Um, I will say that this game has a little bit of trouble recording, that it keeps giving OBS and encoding errors, just something about this game being captured it doesn't like. Right where we left off, let's go. What's up, Watson? What, what, Watson? Watson, let me talk what to you. What do you make of this, Holmes? Um, seems like a nice place. Alright, I don't know where I'm actually going. Maybe I'll go talk to this kid. Is this a shoe shiner? What's over here? Oh, okay. Hey, what's up, Holmes? Okay. Hmm. <coughs> I don't know where I'm going. Up here? Oh. Hello. I didn't expect to be able to get in here. I expected it to be like, I have no reason to go there. I guess we're going here. I can't actually talk to this guy. I came in here for nothing. I can go out the other way. Oh god, I'm gonna get so lost. Where the hell am I going already? Watson. Watson. Watson, what are you doing? Watson really likes me. Uh, right, how do I right click? That's right. I haven't played in so long. Um, let's go back to the port district. I'm lost. And we'll go this way instead. We need to go find our lodgings. Oh my goodness, this place is too big. That our luggage. Oh, hello. <coughs> Those are boobies. That's a mermaid. She's technically not human, so her boobie shouldn't be a problem. Oh, I can't look at this. Uh, okay, oh, there's a guy sitting back there. Can I go up here? No? Okay. I guess I have no reason to go there. I really don't know where I'm going, though. Watson, where are we going? Why are we going? There's no way for me to get onto that boat, I don't think. Can't talk to this man. Alright. Hmm. I forgot I could double click to go faster. Can we get back on the boat? Boozy and a nymph. Okay. Can I talk to her? I can. Let's talk to her. Hey. Good morning, dear. Come to relax? Uh, no thank you, madam. Cool. Let's explore the boat. Boobies! I'm a five year old, I swear. Alright. Little cherubs. 
Hello. You want me to move? I'll move. It's okay. Alright. Well, walking off the long end of a short pier. Let's keep going. Where did Watson go? Watson, did you get caught up in the mistress's charm and ways? Can I go in? No. Hello. Alright, well, back off we go. I lost Watson. There he is. Man, where did you go? Alright, another long end of a short pier. It would be better to turn Well fine. Alright, I guess we're going that way. Maybe we're going into that saloon looking place. La di da di da di da di da La di da di da di da di da There's a bank. Hello. Oh. Oh gosh. No, don't turn around. Quarter. French quarter. I have no reason to go there. I guess I do have reason to go here. Okay. Where in the hell am I actually going? I have no reason to go. I guess I don't have reason to go there. <sighs> Watson, Watson, what's the goal here? Where are we going? The only place I can go in is the like little China house. I thought I was lost. Oh, hey, I can talk to this guy. One more step, and your brains will be about as useful as gator bait. The continent welcomes us with such hospitality, doesn't it? Beg pardon, my good man. Is the bank closed for some time? As long as it takes Mr. Blackman to come back from Baton Rouge with more dollars. Who were robbed? Not hardly. We had a jewel sale. When might one expect Mr. Blackman to return? He likely could come back most any day, but he'll be gone three days at least. Is there anyone else who could shed some light on this transaction? You see, we have come from Europe and are interested in a particular set of precious stones. It may well prove to be this same set your bank sold recently. I ain't talking, and I don't know nothing about it anyhow. All right. Well, that's information, I guess. Uh, I guess we're gonna go through the workshop again, because I don't know where else the hell to go. Oh, wait. I can go up here this way. I haven't been up this way yet. Oh, it's in here. Lots of doors. Alright. Back out we go. <sighs> I'm so lost. I hate new places. Okay. Once that way is another door. Alright. Back through the little workshop looking place. Uh, Cajun Quarter, I guess. Cajun District. I don't know. Oh. What's up here? Okay. Okay. Sorry. My bad. Uh, was this the same place I was in last time? I think it was. Okay, well. We'll go this way this time. Now we're at the back side. A little ship here. Can I walk on the ship? Nope. Okay. A warehouse. 
Lafayette Incorporated. Mm. Why must this place be so confusing? I think Watson got stuck again. I'm sure he'll show up eventually. There we go. Found a saloon. I think this is progress. Oh, hey, Watson. Wondered where you went. Alright. I'll continue to go this way. People live here, I assume. I'll start this way. Though I don't think there's much. Yeah. I don't know why this is even here. <sighs> Can't go in here either. Can I talk to the puppies? Ah! Stay clear of these hounds. Okay. No puppies. I hear you. Where the absolute hell am I going? What's the goal here? What am I doing? Um. Oh. I can bribe the guard. I don't even think about bribing the guard. Here. Take my money. There is one feller. Goes by the name of Champagne. He's Cajun. He knows everything that goes on around these parts. You can most likely find him near a pile of planks at the end of the pier. Everything has its price in America. Isn't that what they say? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. So now I can go to the pier and find Champagne. What a strange name. If I ever was, like, somewhere that I didn't want to be known by my regular name, I'd probably go by Vegas because my name is Sahara, and I was named after a casino. Um, I thought this was it. Was this not it? No? Back through the other way, I guess. Is that him? The dogs are gone, I think. Hello. Ah, there we go. You must be champagne. <coughs> With open arms, Watson. Napoleon, Lafayette. Of course, don't mind the dogs. They just don't take to the smell of gentle folks, especially <sighs> foreign ones. So what can old champagne do for you? How's about some planks for your boat? Maybe a ride in Gator's bath? Some other time, perhaps. People say that you know everything that occurs in this area. Maybe so. Don't care much what them people say. What you want to know? We are particularly interested in a recent transaction in precious stones. No doubt you are familiar with these events. Well, sure, that's true. Now that you say it, I reckon I heard of some swap for jewels. It would help you out, but my poor brain is like the train with no coal. What you want me to do? Now, there's a bottle of some champagne with this and that. Old champagne will have a thing or two to say to you. Okay. Does that mean that I can go to the pub? Is that a bottle of champagne just laying on the ground? Where do I get champagne from? Speaking of that, it come to me true. Was a week ago, maybe two. The butler working for a rich man made himself a jewel trade to honor and co. Looks like business to be done fast and with a quiet way. By my foot, the truth is here now. The name of the employer of this silent partner? He go by the name uh, Honison. He from far up the bayou into the east. He got some crazy notions, that and they must be all like that where he come from. No doubt. One other matter. During the last few days, have you noticed any strange ship movements, especially regarding those taking leave of port late at night? 
You did right by old Champagne, so I tell you true. Five days ago, a ship, she weigh anchor in the middle of the night. She took sail right after a mess of folks brought a lot of boats to meet her and charged on board. These all came from the swamps. Could be toting contraband. Anyway, left for the old world for sure. Old Champagne keeps to his own self. No reason to know nothing more. And advice to you, stay clear. Those that <coughs> sticks their nose where it don't belong end up feeding the gators round these parts. We shall consider ourselves duly warned. Good day. And if he wants to go for a ride in the bayou or something else, old Champagne treats you right. I take dollars, uh, bottles of uh, you know what, right? Okay. Cool. So, where am I going again? Mm. Hmm. All right. Watson, let's pay a visit to this Anson. What can we do, Holmes? Let's go, Watson, to the port. Watson, let's. What can we do? Let's go, Watson, to the port. Well, let me walk there. Or let me go. Holmes, our bag. Well. Stop! Oh, this is down. It wasn't down before. There he is. For the love of are you cereal right now? What is this silly nonsense? Ah, oh, he's running into that back alley I couldn't get into before. It would be better to turn back. Would you shush? Come on. It would be better to. I'm not back. going in the gate. Oh. Some fancy chase music.
He's there. Yes, yes he is. Why was this necessary? That was just weird. Are we quite done? Hello. Sorry to disturb you. cleaning for My good lord, you're way over here. Stop! This dude's probably just like, how are you still following me? This old British dude won't leave you alone. Gotta start the music again. Yep. How are you? You lost your head. How are you climbing? How about running around like a headless chicken? people with their cool on. Oh, no, go back. What a long chase. Holmes, how are you chasing this dude, for real? I 
has this guy not lost you yet? Where did he go? Is he hiding in the meat centrifuge? We're back up here, I guess. Oh, I see. Go that way. Obvious he went this way, go just go. Ah, you want me to turn off the thing. Yeah, that's totally not gonna ruin production. Good job, Holmes. Your bag is not important enough to throw off a whole industry. Oh, this looks safe. I don't like this at all. Watson, how did you just catch up with me? Yo, Sheriff, you just let a thief pass you. Stop right there, you two. Not a move. But the thief, he is going to... Thief? What thief? All I see are two furners tearing up my wharf, making a lot of noise. I expect you have some sort of papers proving who you are and what business you have in my parish. I assume you have proof you're here legally. What? Of course we have papers in our bag. But that villain, he... Well, upon my word, you allowed him to make off with our bag. What are you insinuating, sir? Are you trying to offend me? You're awful short. Gentlemen, look here. Calm down, Watson. But can't you see that... Watson? So you are Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson. Please, spare us the pretense. You know very well who we are. And a clever fella in the <laughs> bargain. <laughs> listen to me and listen up good, Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson. <sighs> oh, Lord. <clears throat> You will leave tomorrow morning for Europe on the same ship that brought you here. No need to offload your bags. Just turn around and get back on board. Nothing good will come your way if you ignore my advice. Oh, and one more thing. Without proper papers, you're nothing more than outlaws here in New Orleans. And outlaws end up as gator bait in my parish. <laughs> Nasty laugh. With open arms, was it, Watson? Holmes, enough. It mm. seems they were warned of our arrival and waiting for us. Let's find the wealthy side of the city and the house of this Arneson. Come, Watson, time is not our friend. Watson, let's pay a visit to this Arneson. Oh, now I could just go over here. I couldn't do that before. Hello. All seems to be the matter, madam. <sighs> okay. I take it you want me to follow the maid? Ring the bell.
Dong dong. Dong dong. Looks like no one is here, Holmes. It's a pity, Watson. This is our only lead. Why is she there? She was not there a second ago. Is she gonna come talk to us? <laughs> I am Good human morning. person. Please don't be alarmed. We won't harm you, my dear. What is your name? Eula, sir. Lovely. When we arrived here, name. we were looking through this gate. This is the residence <coughs> of Mr. Arnson, isn't it? Do you know him? Yes, sir. Do you know if he is at home? Don't rightly know, sir. <laughs> Why are you crying? Watson, come now. Don't distress yourself like this. Why all these oh, tears? It's just like I can't deal with because these emotions. Because my little brother, Davy. He serves with Mr. Arneson. and been more than five days since I heard from him. Perhaps he went on a trip with Mr. Arnson. No, sir. Dang likely. I served at the Gallagher's just the other side of the road. If they had left, I would have seen them. Something bad has happened. I can feel it. But if you were so near, surely your brother would have cried out for help if there had been any real danger. No, sir. Davy, he ain't like you and me. He's right smart in some ways. But Davy can't talk. Not a word. Besides, most evenings, we visits and sees each other across the stable door. It been more than five days since he'd been there. Oh, sir. I'd be mighty scared. Something has happened to him. I just know it. <laughs> Miss, take us to this stable. Watson, I think this place is indeed isolated and therefore quite vulnerable. There are like hey, eight other houses on this I street. I can go wait on the road. That way, if my mistress calls for me, I can hear. All right, in the door. In in the, I saw it change. There it goes. That is not the door handle. That's fine. It is hardly secure, Watson. Regard the lock. It has a primitive wooden latch, which is also quite flimsy. Well, if we had a bag. Oh, how do we still have our knife? In our pocket. <coughs> Alright, so I take it that the kid's been stolen like all the other kids. Bravo, Holmes. Uh, yeah, totally. Thanks. Holmes, oh, God. This horse is dying of thirst. Poor animal. He has had no water for these past five days, Watson. Unbearable. Can we get the horse some water? Please let me get the horse some water. This should prove useful. There's an axe in the door. Can't look at the axe. Oh, my. He can barely move. Is there water in here anywhere? There's a bucket over here. I hope this gate is not open. Okay. Water. Water for the horse. A hand, it changed to a hand for a second. Now it can't be used. Whatever. Water! Observe, Watson. These beautiful well. Yep. Very pretty. Closed. Tight. Um, cat? Where'd it go? That's a raccoon. Holmes, a raccoon. Come here, you little rascal. They won't allow us too close, Watson. Though the little imps are rather inquisitive by nature. Yep, they're 
quite adorable. Water. Water. I saw a bucket, but it wouldn't let me grab it. It's right there. Let me grab it. I'm gonna travel between the garden and the stable. Eh. What a wretched smell, Holmes. Quite wretched, Watson. It is the foul stench of death. Indeed it is. Alright. Ugh. Is there a bucket in here I can use? There, there's a pan. Watson, hold the basin. I think you know what to do with it. so happy. I was so worried. Easy now, fellow. Drink up. Oh, good. <sighs> ah, yes. Oh, and you had a hammer underneath you. That couldn't have been comfortable. Um, I'm just gonna reach under you, okay? Is that okay? Don't kick me. What could this be doing here? Our poor horse. I'm so happy they let me save the horse and made it in, like part of what I need to do. Uh, I've done the deed. The horse is safe. Here you are, Watson. What do you make of this? All right. Ah, it's a ham. What a delectable aroma. If only I were hungry. Uh, yep. Let's go through here. Oh, shiz. Watson, what do you make of this? What a horrific sight. It has lain here for at least a week. On the contrary, Watson, once again you see, but fail to observe. The warmth of the local climate and the exceptional humidity undoubtedly sped up the rate of decomposition. Based upon my calculations, the body has been here for five days. Huh, that's interesting. So this is the kid, huh? Which is quite sad, actually. I can't look closer at him. Okay. Well. <sighs> terrible. Terrible, terrible. What do you make of this, Watson? What do you make of this, home? I asked you the same question. What's this? Interesting. The person who sat here was fond of cigars. There's a thing on the floor under your foot, Watson. One of his fingernails is black. Let's examine the hands. They are calloused, with traces of dirt under the nails. This would be the gardener, no doubt. Let's examine the hands. They are calloused, with traces of dirt under the nails. This would be the gardener, no doubt. This blood on the... <coughs> Cannot budge the handle. They must have lodged something behind it to hold fast the door. Shh, Watson, listen. Whoever you are, open up. We mean you no harm. Open the door for God's sake. It's a matter of life or death. This is useless, Holmes. Watson, your sensibility is appreciated. Mm. We shall come back later. 
Um, what if I just hit the handle? Whoever you are, open up. Nope. This is useless. Okay. What's in your sense? All right. Well, let's go. There's footsteps. These footsteps indicate a person of small stature, and the fact that they are so closely set suggests they made their way with great stealth. What's this? Someone placed their hand near this footstep. Judging by the size of the fingers, it seems to be a youth. Why would they lean down here? Of course, to pick something up. Indeed. All right, let's go in this door. A note, a couple notes. These clothes belong to a servant, and judging from their size, he is a small man. A child, perhaps? Anson, with his servant, no doubt. Hmm. Watson, move. So let's go upstairs. <coughs> go up the stairs, Holmes. Thank you. Hmm. <clears throat> this looks like an interesting room. La Lakovka. Yeah, it is Lakovka. Alright, cool. Any interesting books? Uh, one in me. There we go. <clears throat> oh lord, okay. Uh, people are disappearing. Okay. This book has been read often. Tales of Fantastic Hunts by D. Niles. Denials? His name is Denials? <clears throat> uh, yep. Uh, okay. Alright, so ah, I know what to give. A book the, on uh, the fauna and flora of Louisiana. The uh, raccoons now. Give me anything else. All right, we'll go over here. We'll look at this box. What's in the box? And I've got a hammer. I don't know if that actually helps at all. This metal tube is approximately 40 centimeters in length and 18 in diameter. <laughs> it bears a small tag which reads, this one without defect. My sincere apologies, E. Otis. What the devil are you doing, Holmes? I've got a metal tube. That's interesting. What's this? In order to wind up this unique watch, you need to find the figures corresponding to those of the clock according to the same logic. Two digits are already marked to help you figure out what method to use. Good luck. Okay. A All newspaper right. from five days ago. Someone has torn the last page. Well, it seems Anson tried his hand at a small riddle in this newspaper. How strange. He does not seem the type to take interest in mathematical conundrums. Alright. We'll keep that in mind if we find a clock. This should lead to the other bedroom. Oh, it's a balcony. Well, that's rather interesting. That's a lemon tree. This should prove useful. Why did you take the whole tree? There is absolutely no reason for you to take the whole tree. Closed. Tight. Well, never mind my theory about it. Go into the back. Both sides go to the balcony. It's a really pretty house, though. I like this house a lot. Alright. To the other room. Closed. Tight. Never mind. Can we go grab the ham to give to the raccoon? According to the walkthrough, I can pick some flowers for some reason. I don't know why. I need them for something. Yep. Apparently. Oop. Go back. I can pick these flowers. 
I didn't even notice before. I thought they were just scenery. Like, who would have thought that these flowers were this here? This should prove useful. I don't know what they're for yet, and it probably would have told me later that I could pick them, but yeah. This should prove useful. This should prove useful. Any others? Uh, lily, bluebell, Peruvian lily. Apparently there was some blood here I missed too. In like tracks or something. Yeah. Another footstep. The hunt is on, Watson. Some footsteps or marks. Not clear enough to make out. Let's see if there are others. Blood. However, given the small amounts, the wound should be superficial. Wait, this is interesting. There's a trace of mud here. Alright, so it leads away from the house. Wait, there was a path here? Footsteps. Let's see. Watson, regard the traces in the soil. A body was dragged here recently. Undoubtedly, it was a man of great size. More traces of mud. A person wearing shoes thick with fresh mud entered the garden by this gate. They entered the house and then returned, dragging a body back along the way. This erased some signs of their former movements, but not entirely. Fortunately, I have a particular talent for tracing footsteps. A neglected art indeed. Sure. Yep. Um. Cool. Well, let's go. Ah, Holmes! There are thousands of these mosquitoes! We must turn back, Watson, or we shall be devoured. Okay, I think I got something about that. Um, hold on. Hold on. Yes, amphibians are very effective. Alright, so if I do this, can I? Ah, Holmes! We must turn back, Watson. I've got the lemon tree, though. What if I... Let me, let me use the lemon tree on the mosquitoes. <sighs> okay. I missed something here. Curious. The there are some muds that appears to have come from underneath the bed. Curious. There are some mud. Okay. Yes, there is something. Um. You want me to use a knife on the floorboard? Ah. Apparently, I forgot something in here. Champagne. Maybe this will satisfy that old man of the same name. Um. This must be Anson. He appears fond of cigars. Papers were burned, and great care was taken to destroy everything of any value to our case. We will find nothing further in this place. Well then. Blood! Blood! Okay, okay. There's just so much, I don't know what I am and am aren't looking at. The body was dragged from behind this door. Home! Here! <clears throat> oh. Well. That's rather interesting. Hmm, very interesting. Oh. This isn't right. Perhaps if I begin again. Uh Okay. 
Okay, wait a minute. Apparently, the inner numbers are the numbers that the outer numbers can be divided. So, 1 is only divisible by 1. So, that would be 1. 2 is divisible by 1 and 2. So, this is 2. 3 is only divisible by 1 and 3. So, it's 2. 4 is div only divisible by 4, 2, and 1. So, this is 3. 5 is divisible by 1 and 5. That makes that 2. I think that's how this works. 6 is divisible by... Okay, let's start with this. So, 1, 2, 2, 3. Twelve is divisible by six, two, one, and twelve. Which oh, and four and three. So one, two, three, four, five, six numbers it's divisible by. Yes. That's a gun. Nothing can stop an inventive and logical mind. Okay, it's a key. That's not how you take things. Ah, it's only an air pistol. I would be hard pressed to shoot a nestling from a branch with this weapon. Besides, it's not even loaded. Alright, fine. Uh, so I have a key now. Can I go into that locked room? Whoever you are, open up. This is useless, home. Was there What's something else that was locked? That oh, I know, I know. Um, upstairs. Yes. Cool. I like how the subtitles just say, "Ah!" Watson, that shouting! Something is happening. This must have come from the stables, Holmes. Uh, give me a second. This must. Have all right, all right, all right. To the stables. This must have come. All right. We'll go back the other way. Hey, wants me to run. They've bolted the door. There's no time for anything else. We must force it open. We must act quickly, Holmes. Watson, this can serve as a ram to take down the door. This must have... Log, let's go. I was wondering what this wooden log was for. Oh shit. Jesus Christ. Watson, tend to her. Holmes, hold on. There is a message pinned to this unhappy woman. Do you think that in this city, the life of one English detective is worth more than that of a black man's manservant? Final warning, Mr. Holmes. Holmes, she is still in shock. I must stay with her. Uh, fine, I'm going to go back up to that room. What is this? Looks kind of like a rabbit foot. A lovely piece. I must say it's the highlight of this exhibition, but I dare say it shall prove useful. Oh, it's a horn. Okay. Oh, that's a book. Go back over. Uh, bear. Lots of books. Lots of books. What's this? Whoa. Ingenious. Standing on the stone activates some mechanism. Interesting. Okay. What is inscribed here? My best trophy. A strange hunter, this Arnson. You want the horn? Ah. 
This Anson has a good sense of humor. Hmm, he and this girl should be very close. Perhaps she has some information. Okay. This Anson has a good... I, I hear you. It's the chick from the boat. Yes, there is something here. Alright. <clears throat> what an interesting picture. Ah. That's how I get in here. Okay. Lemon tree. I got a use for the lemon tree. What did that actually activate? Yes, there is something. I don't know how I clicked on that, but okay. Strange drawing. It says only the best gunmen earn the finest arms. It says. Hmm. Oh. Surely there is something behind this fresco. This hole must be part of some mechanism. The Surely there is something behind. No. Okay. What about the key? Surely there is something. All right. All right. Can I get this back? It says. I missed a metal rod by the uh, fountain. That's what it was. Don't know where it's at, but it's supposed to be somewhere around here. Here we go. I would have never found that. Some of this stuff this is just prove so ridiculous. Alright, uh, let's go back here. Nothing can stop an inventive and logical mind. Okie dokie. Well. Why do you have a secret room here, man? Documents. Picture and some documents. The same woman seen in the trophy photograph. To my darling Carol, this bouquet will forever be the true symbol of our uh, love, Lucy. Cool, cool. Strange. How dreary, the swamp. We must hold fast, as it is imperative that we go there tonight. Is Everything in good time. First, I must find Watson. Uh, first, I must finish reading these documents. Uh... Hmm, okay. very interesting. <sighs> the documents? What's this? It is possible to take down an elephant with one shot using these weapons. Unfortunately, the metal grid is too solid to break through. Do you want a key? I cannot do this. Okay, what about a hammer? This is useless. What about a knife? I won't do that. What about a flower? This is useless. What about a ruby? I won't do that. What about champagne? This is useless. What about a statue? I cannot do this. What? I cannot do this. What about some matches? I cannot do this. What about some nails? I cannot do this. What about another flower? This is useless. What about this last flower? I won't do that. Alright. Alright, back to Watson, I suppose. Oh, hey. The kid. Perhaps it is time to take care of this young man. Everything in good time. First, I must find Watson. Hey, child. Davy. Davy, open the door. I have Everything flowers. Everything in good time. Fine. 
Watson, read this. It sheds light on a dark and sinister enterprise. Arneson was in contact with the Northwood Agency. He wanted to inform them about the activities of Ashmat, but why? Because his servant was secretly selling the same stolen jewelry sought by this agency. How is she, Watson? It will be difficult for her to speak for some time. She had a narrow escape. Can she walk? Yes, but why? Come with me. Your brother is behind this door, miss. He is wounded, but only superficially. It is extremely urgent that he opens this door. Can you call to him? Perhaps it will draw him out. David. David. Young man, I know that you can hear and understand me. We are here at the request of your sister, who is with us now. She is very worried about you, and rightly so. The man with me is a doctor. He is going to look at your wound and ease your suffering. Please come out. Everything will be all right. Open the door, Davy. These gentlemen talk true. Come on now. Open up the door for Eula. Oh. Miss, you should go and get some food for your brother. He must be very hungry. Have you finished, Watson? Well, yes. <coughs> very well. Please understand, my young lad, and you too, Miss Eula. We are here to solve an affair that risks many people's lives. Furthermore, we have very short time to save them. As for you, young man, you know some very important things. You must tell us everything and leave nothing out. But what are you going Listen to me, I will tell you a story. Davy, five days ago, at night, you were woken up by noises from the dining room. First you heard the voice of the gardener, and then a loud blow to the floor. Just you like... got up and took the candle which was lit. Then you went to the dining room. On your way, you found something on the floor and picked it up. It was likely a piece of paper. Afterwards, you went to the door of the dining room and saw the dead body of Colin the gardener soaking in a pool of blood. You also saw Ashmat, the other servant, dragging Mr. Arnson, who seemed dead towards the door. Ashmat saw you, struck at you with his knife, and caught you in the arm. Seeing that this blow had not killed you, he raised his knife to strike again and eliminate the only witness to his heinous crime. But something stayed his hand. The item you picked up was far more important. He paused to snatch it up, giving you time to run away and barricade yourself in your room. But if you were there, why didn't you do anything? Mr. Holmes was not there, miss. But if he tells you that things have happened in such a way, you should believe him without any doubt. Then you are a kind of hoodoo man. No. In some way. David, do this man tell it true? Is this what happened? The good man saved us both. Do what he tells you, Davy. Listen to your sister, young man. Now, Davy, can you recall what was on that piece of paper? Think hard now. Just his eyes. It's ridiculous Watson, eyes. Your notebook. Be attentive to everything he draws and copy it down exactly. Stop fighting me. Dude really does have a brain for figures. Good God. Hi, I see you. I love you. I acknowledge your existence. Please stop. Holmes, can we trust these figures and make sense of them? I mean to say, consider this boy's affliction. He also has a number. Ah, this numbers. boy. A strange one, isn't he? Watson, let's escort him and his sister to her employer. This be the Gallagher's place. Thanks, misters. Miss Euler, we should be thanking you. Now, take good care of your brother. Watson, we must move quickly. The enemy is close at hand, and there is another place we've yet to examine. I don't know what to do. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I had to use a walkthrough for a lot of this, because just stuff was just so confusing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watcher! Ah! I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Lunar is setting out. Bye.